from Toy Slap Creations. Today, I'm going to be making this baby pom-pom booties in adult size. I asked someone request me to make it in adult size. Also, I'm going to be making it. I'm not going to be adding this pom-pom. So, in order to make the adult size, I'll be needing two hook sizes, 5.0 mm hook and 4.0 mm hook. So, I'm going to be starting the sole. This which is going to be worked flat and I'm going to start with the sole using the 5.0 mm hook. You'll also be needing DK weight yarn, any one of your choice. I don't have a DK weight yarn, so I'm using this yarn here, it's kind of thin, so I'll be doubling it to make up for a DK weight. So to start, I'm going to be making these um, slippers in my own size. I'm a size seven, so that's a 9.5 inch sole. I'm going to start with a slip knot and I'll a chain of 53. So go ahead and make a chain of 53 and I'll join you when I'm through with mine. So I've chained 53. So for the first row now, I'm going to skip the very first stitch. This does not count. I'm going to skip this stitch and into the second stitch, in the second chain. From the hook, I'm going to make a single crochet into that stitch and a single crochet in each stitch across. So at the end of this row, I shall have a total of 52 single crochets. If you would like to make these slippers in other sizes, I have the written pattern in my Ravelry and Etsy store that includes the sizes for size five six seven eight and nine so continue and i'll join you in and choose my 52 single crochets so i finished the first row i have 52 single crochets so far so next i'm going to chain one to start the second row chain one and turn Make two single crochets into the first stitch. Other one. And so. Then make one single crochet in the next 22 stitches. So just keep making one single crochet in each stitch, in, in the next 22 stitches. So. By the time we get to the 23rd stitches, we're having 24 single crochets. So, just continue making one single crochet in the next 22 stitches. And when we get there, we increase in the middle of the row. So I'll join you when I've made 22 single crochets. So I've made 22 single crochets. So next I'm going to be making two single crochets in the next six stitches. That's the second one. Now I'll repeat that five more times. One and two. So that's three. Mm -hmm. So that's four. Mm -hmm. So five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so we have made increases in the last in six stitches one two three four five six so next we're going to be making one single crochet in the next 22 stitches by the time we are through with our single crochet 
we have just one stitch left and that's the last stitch of the row i'm going to make two single crochet into that last stitch so go ahead and make 22 single crochets i will join you when i'm about to finish the row so i'm about to finish row two so make two single crochet in the last stitch of the row so moving on to uh, row three now we going to chain one turn two single crochet into the first stitch one and two then one single crochet into the next 26 stitches so go ahead and make one single crochet in the next 26 stitches once we are done with the 26 stitches I'm going to do the same kind of increases we did for or two make two single crochet in six stitches so go ahead and complete your 26 single crochet and i'll show you when i'm through it's fine so i've made 26 single crochets so next i'm going to be making two single crochet in the next six stitches that's one and two one two one two that's three so far one, two, four five one and two so that's six so we're going to, just going to make one single crochet in the next 26 stitches by the time we are through with the single crochets we have just one stitch left and i'm going to make two single crochet into that last stitch so go ahead and complete your 26 single crochet i will join you at the end of the row so i'm about to finish row three now i'm going to make two single crochet into this last stitch mm -hmm. And so then chain one turn two single crochet into the first stitch one and two then one single crochet into the next eleven stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten 11 so next i need to make 11 after the crochets one two three six seven Then I'm going to make double crochet into the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four. Five, 
me. Six. Eight. So next, I'm going to be making two double crochet into the next six stitches. One and the second one into the same into the same space. So so we'll do that five more times. One. So. So that's three. That is six. So next, I just basically going to repeat what we did before in the reverse order. So I'm going to be doing eight double crochets in the next eight stitches, followed by eleven half double crochet. Then I'll move on to eleven single crochets. Then I'll finish the row with two single crochet into the last stitch. So go ahead and make eight double crochets. 11 half double, 11 single, and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. I will join you at the end of the row. So I'm about to finish row 4 now. I've made 8 single, um, eight double crochet, 11 half double, 11 single crochet. So I have 1 stitch left, and into this stitch I'm going to be making 2 single crochets. Just like we started the row with. So Moving on to row 5 now, chain 1, turn, this is the last row of the sole, make 2 single crochet into this first stitch. And 1 single crochet in the next 2 of stitches. One, two, three. Next, I'm making 12 half double crochets. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So next, I'm going to be making 26 double crochets. So go ahead and finish 26 double crochets. Once we are through with the 26 double crochet, we just finish the row with the reverse of 12 half double crochet and 12 single crochet. Make two single crochet into the last stitch. So I'm going to join you once I'm through with the 20, 26 double crochet. So go ahead and finish yours. I will join you when I'm done. 
So I've finished 26 double crochet. So next I'm going to be doing 12 half double. Once I'm through with my 12 half double, I'll finish and then I'll do 12 single crochet and finish off the row with two single crochet in the last stitch. And that will be the end of the sew. So we'll then start the upper part of the slipper. So go ahead and finish yours and I'll join you when I'm through with the row. So I'm about to finish row five now. Two single crochet into the last stitch. This is not second single crochet. I'm going to finish it with a slip stitch of the second color, just like the baby booty. I made the first row after the sole in a different color. You can decide to maintain the color all through. You can decide to make the upper part of the booty in a different color all the way up. It's totally up to you. I'm just going to make this singular row in a different color. So I'm going to finish row row five with a slip stitch of the second color. Then for the upper part of the booty, I'm going to be making it in a, I'm going to be making the upper, upper part of the booty with a hook 4.0 mm. So chain one to secure the chain one and turn. Then we are starting the upper part of our booty. So far we have 78 stitches from row five. So for row six now, we are going to make one single crochet in the front loop only. This is the front loop, this is the back loop. One single crochet in the front loop only. You want to change your hook. We have changed our hook to 4.0 mm hook. So I just make one single crochet in the front loops only in each stitch across. So at the end of the row, we see you have 78 stitches. So go ahead and complete your row of single crochet into front loops only. And I will join you when I'm sure it's fine. So I'm about to finish row six now. One single crochet into the last stitch. So I'm going to be changing my color back. I've already cut off the yarn from that end. So I'm going to be reattaching the yarn from this end. So finish up the stiff stitch of the color we started with. So then chain two. And turn. So for the row, for row seven of this project, I'm going to be working half double crochet. So I'm going to make one half double crochet into this stitch, and one half double crochet in each stitch across. You can see that the chain two I made side of the row it does not count. It works into the very first stitch. So I'm making one half double crochet in each stitch across. So at the end of this row, we still have 78 stitches. So go ahead and finish row 7. And I'll join you when I'm through with mine. So I finished row 7. I have 78. I have double crochet so far. So I'm going on to row 8 now. Chain 1, turn. Make one single crochet into the first stitch. And one single crochet in the next 18 stitches. So in total, we have 19 single crochets. So I'm, once I'm showing my 19 single crochets, I'm going to go ahead and make 14 half double crochets. So go ahead and make 19 single crochets and 14 half double crochets. I'll come back when I'm once I'm sure with that. So I've made 19 half double crochets and 14 sorry 19 single crochets and 14 half double crochet. So next I'm going to be making double crochet two together. So to start double crochet two together, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, 
Yarn of our poultry should like you do for, for a normal double crochet, but we do not finish this double crochet. Yarn of our going to the next stitch. Yarn of our poultry. Yarn of our poultry two. Yarn of our and poultry three. So we we'll do this five more times. So you are doing double crochet two together five times. Last two. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So next, I'm going to do what we did at the beginning of the row in reverse. So next, I'm going to be doing 14 half double crochet, and then I'll finish the row with 19 single crochet. So go ahead and make 14 half double crochet and 19 single crochet. So I will join you at the end of the row. So I finished row eight. After the double crochet two together six times, I've made 14 half double and 19 single crochets. So I finished the row. With the reduction we did with the double crochets two together, we have a total of 72 single crochets and we have reduced six stitches from 78. So we have 72 now. So moving on to row nine, Chain one turn, one single crochet into the first stitch, and one single crochet into the next 17 stitches, making a total of 18 single crochets. Then, after finishing the 18 single crochets, I'm going to, to make um, 12 half double crochet. So just go ahead and make 18 single crochets and 14 half double crochet. Sorry, 18 single crochet and 12 half double crochet. And I'll join you when I'm sure it's mine. So I've made 18 single crochet and 12 half double crochet. So next, I'm going to be making double crochet two together six times once again. So that means we are using under six stitches on this row. That's the first one. One. Two. Three. So next we're going to do we're going to reverse what we started with. So I'm going to be making 12 half double crochet and finish the row with 18 single crochet. So now we are reducing under six stitches on this row. So we'll be left with 66 stitches at the end of this row. So go ahead and complete 12 half double crochet and 18 single crochet. I will join you at the end of the row. So I'm through with row 9 now. So moving on to row 10. I'm going to chain 1, turn, single crochet in the first stitch, and single crochet in the next 17 stitches. So I have a total of 18 single crochets. So once I'm through with the 18 single crochets, I'm going to make 11 half double crochet 
So go ahead and make 18 single crochet and 11 half double crochet. And I'll join when I'm done with that. So I've made 18 single crochet and 11 half double crochet. So next I'm going to be making double crochet two together four times. That's one. So three and the last one. Four. So next I'm going I'm going to make eleven half double crochet and finish the row with 18 single crochet so go ahead and make 11 half double crochet and finish the row with 18 single crochet i'll show you when i'm doing it i'm doing when i'm done with mine so i'm through with row 10 i've made 11 single crochet and 18 11 half double crochet and 18 single crochet so moving down to row 11 now i'm going to chain one turn Single crochet into the first stitch and single crochet into the next 16 stitches. So I have a total of 17 single crochet. Then I'll make 10 half double crochet. So go ahead and make 17 single crochet and 10 half double crochet. And I'll join you when I'm done with mine. So I've made 17 single crochet and 10 half double crochet so next i'm going to be making double crochet two together so i'll make double crochet two together four times so this is the first one two three And the last one four. So I've made four double crochet together. So next I'm going to make ten half double crochet and then I'll finish the row off with seventeen single crochet. So go ahead and make ten half double crochet and then seventeen single crochet. I'll join you when I'm sure it's mine. So moving on to row 12 now. I'm sure it's row 11. I've made my 10 half double crochet and 17 single crochet. So moving on to row 12 now. Chain 1, turn. 1 single crochet into the first stitch. And 1 single crochet into the next 15 stitches. So we have a total of 16 single crochet so we are through with our 16 single crochet then we'll make nine half double crochets so go ahead and make 16 single crochet and then nine half double crochet and i'll join you when i'm sure it's mine so i've made 16 single crochet and nine half double crochet so next i'm going to be making Double crochet two together four times. That's one. This is the second one. At the end of this row 12, which we have in it, solo 54 stitches. Remember from row 9 we had the um, 66 stitches so we reduce 4 on row 10 that will give us 62 then we use another 4 on row 11 that will give us um 58 so we using under 4 on row 12 we leave the stitches out 54 stitches so i've made 4 double crochet 2 together 
So next, I'm going to be making nine half double crochet. And then, as I'm sure with the half double crochets, I'm going to be making 16 single crochet to finish the row. So go ahead and make nine half double crochet. And then 16 single crochet. We have a total of 54 since the end of the row. And I'll join you when I'm through with mine. So I'm through with row 12. I've made nine half double crochet and 16 single crochet. So moving on to row 13 now. Chain one, turn. Make one single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the next 13 stitches, making a total of 14 single crochet. So once I'm through with my 14 single crochet, I'm going to make nine half double crochet. So go ahead and make 14 single crochet and nine half double crochet. I'll join when I'm through with mine. So I've made 14 single crochet and 9 half double crochet. So next I'm going to be making double crochet two together four times. I have the first one. So So I'm just going to reverse what I did here now. So I'm going to make a nine half double crochet and finish the row with 14 single crochet. So go ahead and make nine half double crochet and finish the row with 14 single crochet. I'll join when I'm done with mine. So I finished row 13. So moving on to row 14 now. Chain one, turn, make one single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the next row of stitches. Making a total of 13 single crochet and then make 8 half double crochet. So go ahead and make 13 single crochet and 8 half double crochet. I will join you when I'm done with mine. So I've made 13 single crochet and 8 half double crochet. So next I'm going to be making double crochet two together. So I'm going to do that four times. Four. So to finish row 14 now, I'm going to reverse what I started here. So I'm going to be making 8 half double crochet and 13 single crochet. So go ahead and make 8 half double crochet and finish the row with 13 single crochet. I'll come back when I'm done with mine. So I'm about to start row 15 now. This is the final row of reduction. So chain one, turn, single crochet into the first stitch, single crochet into the next 11 stitches. So you have a total of 12 single crochet. Once you are through with 12 single crochet, then make seven half double crochet. So go ahead and make 12 single crochet and seven half double crochet. I'll join when I'm through with mine. So I've made 12 single crochet and 7 half double crochet. So next I'm going to be doing reduction again, double crochet two together four times. One. Two. In the last one, four. 
four. So next I'm going to be making seven out of the crochet and then three and I'll finish you off with 12 single crochet. So go ahead and do that. Then we'll continue our booty. So I finished row 15. I've done seven half double and finished row with 12 single crochet. So moving on to row 16 now. From row 15, we add a total of 42 stitches now. You are not making any reduction again. So for row 16, chain one, turn, one single crochet into the first stitch, and one single crochet in each stitch across. So at the end of row 16, you should be having 42 single crochet. So go ahead and finish your row of single crochet. I will come back when I'm done with mine. So I'm showing you through 16, I have 42 stitches. So to start our cuff now, I'm going to chain 25, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Then 24 and 25. So I'm going to work my way down. So I'm going to work my single crochet into the back arms of this. I'll I will make a single crochet into the skip a stitch and make single crochet into the second stitch from the hook and into each chain all the way down. So at the end of the row, I have. 24 single crochet. So go ahead and make 24 single crochet. I'll join you and I'll show it's mine. So I've made my way down. I have 24 single crochet. So I'm going to skip the first stitch and slip stitch into the second stitch from row 16. Slip stitch into that. Then I'll turn my work. I will not chain one, then I will walk into the back loop only of the 24 single crochet from the previous row. Make 24 single crochet in back loops only. I walk my big way back up, and when I'm through with my 24 single crochet, I'll come back to show you. So I finished row two of my cuff. So to start row 3 now, I'm going to chain 1 and turn my work, then make 1 single crochet in back loops only of each stitch across all the way down again. So row 2 and 3 is going to be a repeat row for the cuff, so go ahead and make single crochet in back loops only. All the way down. I will join you when I'm sure it's mine. So I finished row three. Remember when we finished row one, we skipped the first stitch and slipped it into the second stitch. So I'm going to skip the third stitch now and slip stitch into the fourth stitch. So I'm basically repeating the first row we did. Then I'll turn now. Do not chain one. Make one single crochet into the back loops only of each stitch across you are basically repeating row two so just go ahead and keep repeating row two and row three until you get to row 21 remember we have 42 stitches in total so 21 is half of 42 keep repeating until you get to row 21 and i'll come back to show you what to do next so i've made it up to row 21 now the baby size option you can see that the cuff has a slit a slit in the middle if you do not want this slit you can just keep repeating row two and three all the way to the other side so it's just one straight there won't be any slit in the middle to just be straight up to the other end so just continue repeating row two and three just the way i started and you finish with the repeat of row two since 42 is an even number. You finish the with row with the repeat of row two. But if you like this slit in the middle, 
21 is half of 42. So this is I'm at row 21 now. So to finish this part, remember that when we come, when we get, when we finish and hold row like this, we slip a stitch and then we skip a stitch and slip stitch into the next one. But this time I'm not going to slip a stitch. I'm going to slip stitch into, into that 21st single crochet from row 16. So slip stitch into that and then chain one to secure, then cut the yarn. Then come over to this other hand, reattach the yarn, chain 25, single crochet all the way down, and just repeat the same process like this other half of the booty, and then meet at this point again. So go ahead and do that. I'll come back when I'm through with the other side of the cuff. So I'm through with the 21 rows of the cuff on this side, and you can see I've already slipped stick to this to the 20th stitch on this side before so it's, it's remaining only one stitch that's the 21st stitch from this end so i'm going to slip stitch the 21st row of cuff into that so with that i finished the cuff now if you look at the um, the baby size you can see that i slip stitch some of those stitches together and i left the rest open so now I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to slip stitch. Remember, remember we have 24 stitches. So I'm going to slip stitch 10. I will leave 14 open. So now I'm going to go into the first stitch on this end. I marked it so that it will be easy to locate. I'll go into the first stitch on this end and turn. And go into the first stitch here too. On the other cuff too. And then do a slip stitch together. Then I'll continue for the next nine stitches. So that's a total of ten stitches. And then I'll come back to show you how to sew up this booty. So continue. Do yours. I'll join you when I'm done. So you can see what my booty look like. I've already slip stitch ten stitches together. And I've changed and I've um, cut off my yarn. So the final thing to do now is to sew up the booty. We I need to show you that this is the right side. The point where we did chain um, single crochet into front loops only. This this side denotes the right side. This is the wrong side. So when we want to sew up now, we make sure that the right side is facing. We turn it inside out. And then we sew from this point here, we sew all the way, making sure that the lines are aligned, the rows are aligned up to this point, down here, then all the way to this point. So go ahead and use tapestry needle to do that. I'll do mine off camera and I'll come back to show you what the final booty looks like. So I've made the second booty and I've sewn both of them up. You can see what the back looks like. So if you don't like the slit, you can still change it at this point. All you just need to do is to slip stitch the remaining 14 stitches together all the way up. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye.